Well, his mom tells us he was, uh, as soon as he was old enough, they took him to the casino to play poker because he was just so good at it. And years later, out of more than 10,000 people, Valley Man found himself at the final table in the World Series of Poker, and he was able to make it a full circle moment with mom right by his side. So this is kind of like a mid-century meets uh, industrial type of home. So that's my favorite part. And then over here with the exposed brick, the soda blasted brick is a nice touch too. Stephen Jones is a realtor by day. Car shark by night. I mean, at 21, 22, I started going and into the casino thinking, you know, I was the man, you know, and then I don't think I really was as much as I, as I thought I was, but I would say probably like maybe age 27 ish, I really started getting it. If you do that, people think you know what you're doing. You don't even have to know what you're doing. <laughs> the lifelong poker player believes the two hustles are similar. Can you draw parallels to what you do during the day to what you do at night? Yeah, nothing's guaranteed, right? If you don't hustle in real estate, you're not going to get any clients. And, and in poker, like, nothing's guaranteed. You're not guaranteed a paycheck. You could lose your money. And he has lost money entering the World Series of Poker coming up short. Four of a kind. I think before I would go into day one and just kind of play too many hands um, because you would get good hands, but you don't really need to inflate pots. You can just really take your time and try to lose the minimum because it's such a marathon. But you know the saying, the fifth time's the charm? This year, Jones came in second, cashing out $6.5 million. I have a lot of gratitude. Um, I would say the two words are gratitude and overwhelming, that's for sure, but definitely very thankful. However, before that perfect poker moment, he placed a call to the person who put him in that position. There was like 30 players left. I called my mom. That was so that would have been my first phone call because she taught me poker uh -huh. uh, at a young age. And I was like, I'm flying you out. It's getting real. What were your thoughts when you got that call and he says, Mom, I'm going to fly you to Vegas? I was prepared for it. I already told them at work, my boss, that I'm pretty sure I'm going to be going to Vegas. I just don't know when. So... I just was sitting tight till I got the call because I didn't want to feel like I was jinxing him. Mom, Sean Halawacki, knows the pressure since she's a poker player herself, teaching him at age 10. <laughs> was he good? He was. He caught on quickly. He had the card smarts, just like the rest of us. My, my other two children, not so much. <laughs> <laughs> but being on the final table doesn't fulfill his big pot plans. He wants to be all in and win. He, for years, has told me that he was going to make it in the final table for an event like this. And he's still yet to win a bracelet. He says he's going to do that as well. And I believe him. I actually have a picture of the champion from, I want to say, 2018, John Sin, on my vision board for the last five years. And I, I visualize that. I mean, maybe not daily, but as much as I can. And he's holding the bracelet and all the money's on the table. And you know, I didn't win, but it, I was there with the money on the table, so you can't say these things don't work. Pretty cool. Very cool. Yeah. Very cool. And the purse was so large because so many people entered this mm -hmm. year, so you can imagine second place, you walk away with $6.5 million. First place, they walked away with $12.1 million. Hmm. And uh, Jones continues his winning ways. He just wrapped up uh, the Arizona Poker Championship this past weekend. It's actually still going on. Place 21st, walked away with $13,000. Oh not a bad weekend. Yeah, huh? not at all. Wild. <laughs> cool story. All